Welcome back to Signal Boost. I'm Greg Mack with the APS Office of Government Affairs. Representative Eddie Bernice Johnson of Texas, the ranking member of the House Science Committee, introduced a bill in early October to address sexual harassment in the sciences. The bill, H.R. 7031, is called the Combating Sexual Harassment in Science Act and has 32 co-sponsors. APS has endorsed the legislation. The bill calls for research into the cause and consequences of sexual harassment in the sciences and the exploration of policies to address it. In a press release, Representative Johnson stated, equitable access to education and research experiences cannot be ensured for women in the sciences until gender discrimination, implicit bias, and sexual harassment are no longer potential barriers to their success. If you would like to contact your representative and ask them to co-sponsor the bill, simply click on the link associated with this video, and you can do that easily through our website. APS CEO Kate Kirby was one of many leaders from other scientific societies who came together in early October to discuss sexual harassment in the sciences. These leaders will continue to meet and work to develop policies and resources for the scientific community to address this very important issue. Additionally, NSF and NIH have also been making strides on their own policies. Now, let's go through a quick reminder of where things stand with the federal budget. Appropriations for the Department of Energy and the Department of Education have been signed into law, and the numbers are very good for science research and education. Funding for the National Science Foundation and the National Institute of Standards and Technology will be addressed after the election. Right now, those agencies and others are funded by a continuing resolution that ends on December 7th. Speaking of the election, the outcome may change who the APS Office of Government Affairs interacts with in Congress. Why is that? Well, there are several key committees in the House and Senate that deal with science issues, and the members of Congress who sit on those are the ones that we try to talk to most often. So the election may change the makeup of them or who leads them. Now, these include committees that deal with appropriations, meaning the ones that set funding levels for the federal government, and authorization committees, which deal with how agencies and programs are run. As you can see on the screen, the relevant parts of House and Senate appropriations have the same names, and they deal with the same federal agencies. Easy enough, right? Now, it's more complicated for the authorization committees. The House and Senate have different names for them, and the agencies are grouped differently. That's a lot to keep track of, but don't worry, APS does it so you don't have to. Tune in next time to see what's changed and what's going on in the November signal boost.